Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun and welcome to Get Curried. Today's recipe is an absolutely simple one. It can be made under a certain set of time. It's also very economical and when you're actually in a jiffy, you can rustle it up. The recipe is scrambled eggs with shrimps. Hua dan shiaren. Let's begin. Eggs, as you may possibly know, is one of the highest denominators when it comes to protein. It's of course high in protein, it's extremely nutritious and possibly one of the most favorite breakfast specialties in the world. There are several things that you can make with an egg. We've also shown you several things in the past. Of course, I'll speak about that a little later. But before that, let's begin with some basics. The first thing is to crack an egg and keep it aside. The eggs need to be at room temperature. That is extremely important because an egg which straight comes out of the refrigerator is still slightly coagulated. It's still kind of, it, it, it has those freeze marks which are not welcome, especially in a recipe like this because you need the curd of the scramble to be nice and soft and that's how you actually eventually make it. I've also shown you a recipe of scrambled eggs which is a step higher in cooking. So basically the cooking time is possibly 15 seconds more in that recipe. So you need to calibrate this recipe accordingly. The first thing is to take shrimps. Now shrimps again are peeled, are deveined, washed and kept here. We're going to marinate it. Very simple ingredients here. The first thing is sugar. Yes, you have that right. Classically in this recipe, they add sugar because those shrimps have that natural sweetness. With the addition of sugar, they become slightly softer. They get a little touch of caramelization and they also tend to be softer from within. To this, I'm going to add in cooking wine. To this, let's add in salt as required. Salt in any of these recipes, especially egg preparations across the globe, the salt is slightly on the lower side. Um, if you go in the western part of the world, salt is not added because most of them like it without salt and pepper. And if you see, they also have a cruet set on the table. So salt and pepper is added while eating. Also what happens when you add salt is, the egg starts releasing its moisture. If you see, while cooking an egg, there are times where from the scrambled egg, you also have like an undercurrent of little water which is collected. That happens with salt. But in this recipe, you need that. Let's mix this well. You can also add in a little bit of pepper in this case, but it's completely fine. Once this is mixed well, I'm going to keep this aside. Now this recipe could also be flavored with the herbs of your choice. Uh, traditionally, nothing goes in this except the ingredients that I'm showing you. But nevertheless, you can add in chives, you can add in parsley, you can add in spring onions. What I'm using in this recipe are some spring greens, nice and fresh, straight off the garden. You chop them absolutely fine. Like literally when you see each spring of an onion, they should look like little green rubber bands and that's exactly how we want it to be. Once this is achieved, if you have some chives at hand, by all means you can also slice them nice and thin and keep them aside. Take the eggs of course, these are five eggs which for this recipe is one portion. So five eggs, five to six shrimps, a little bit of spring greens and there you go. To this, let's add in sugar, again important in this recipe. Again to this, cooking wine, in this case, two teaspoons, for five eggs is just perfect. Now like I said, in this case, you could use any of the cooking wines, especially the Chinese, Japanese or Korean varieties. Do not use your French or Spanish wines in this case because that is a complete different world. We do not want to fuse that in this case. So when I say cooking wine, it has got nothing to do with a table wine. Remember that. To this, let's add in salt. Considering your personal preference of salt, you want to go a tad bit higher, the choice is completely yours. A touch of oil. The next ingredient that keeps the egg nice and soft is cold water. You'll be surprised, but this also works like magic. Next, you're waiting for nothing. You are whipping this till it's nice and frothy. Once this is achieved, I'm going to add in the spring greens, half of it, because the other half is also for the garnish. 
okay now the question would be how much to whip at this stage do not bring your hand blenders out because we are not looking at creating a sabayon stage or a zabaglion the way we typically do for an italian egg or an omelet we just whip it lightly with the help of a fork so that the top just starts frothing and that's exactly how we want it now if you see here the prawns or the shrimps are marinated and ready you can go for tiger prawns you can go for any size i prefer the shrimp size because it's just comfortable and convenient and here we have five eggs whole eggs cracked open to which we've added cooking wine salt sugar and two more ingredients to keep it nice and soft oil which is cooking oil water and just to kind of flavor it i've added spring greens as simple as that now begins the cooking process there you go vegetable oil in this case again no peanut oil no sesame oil no flavored oil something which is nice and neutral just as a practice i wanted to tell you something that we do with the eggs especially in hotels and restaurants when we crack open the eggs we whip them and then we take a colander and we strain it all because when we are cooking for a larger batch of say a thousand people or thousand five hundred people there are chances that the egg mixture could have pieces of the shell or calcium and we do not want that untoward taste or bite in anybody's mouth so it's ideal to just strain that mixture once it is strained and i'm telling this to you because you may get tempted to make this for a large family crack open the eggs strain the entire mixture once it is strained then you start doing the rest of the process with the cooking wine and this and that and blah 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 as i've told you already oil is heated is just kind of barely heating up you do not want oil which is screaming for attention at this stage we're going to pick these prawns or shrimps without the marinade of course and release them in oil precisely 30 seconds on either sides once it gets that nice golden color or orange color which is very typical of a prawn you pull it out now the question would be why does a prawn turn orange in color not green or not purple because there's an ingredient or an enzyme called anthocyanin which is available in the prawn now because of that the moment it touches heat whether it is a prawn or any crustacean like a crab or a lobster they turn orange in color signs there but that's how it is let's drain all of this and keep it aside once the wok is nice and clean switch the flame on again and add in like a tablespoon of oil once this also kind of just begins to heat up we'll add in the egg mixture let's start pouring in the eggs one whip again and here is this little trick on the most amazing scrambled eggs cantonese style which is taking the cooked bit and moving it in the center like so similarly when the other side cooks bring that in the center as well so that the uncooked mixture now starts running and starts taking the shape of the pan while doing this let's not forget that we have shrimps that are waiting here let's move these the omelet and a little more of the spring greens The whole idea is to ensure that the egg is cooked but not overcooked and that's a very thin fine line. Precisely 30 to 40 seconds of moving it in the pan and your Cantonese style who are then done and ready. Let's transfer this straight in the serving bowl. and finally to this some spring greens and like i said earlier if you can lay your hand on some chives absolutely nothing like it while i like to eat this just like it is you could serve this to your family members say with some sourdough toast or with some toast make this for them see the smile on their faces while i've shown you this recipe i also have a lot of recipes on the channel and i'm sure most of you have watched it make these also for your family and your friends see the smiles on their faces this is me the bombay chef varun namdar signing off bye for now